Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome to another Tuesday Teaching Tips with me, Sally Cathcart from The Curious Piano Teachers. Now, the more astute amongst you might have spotted that I didn't appear last week. I didn't come along and do a Tuesday Teaching Tips, and that was because I was away on holiday. I planned this back in February um, when I was hopeful at that point that we might actually be out of lockdown by then. Thought, OK, I'm going to get something booked. I'm going to go during the term time because I know that we can get more availability then. And all went according to plan. So my husband and I have just had a delightful week up in Yorkshire and it has really done me the world of good. Because before I went, I was pretty much working non-stop at the computer, sort of like 12 hours a day, which, you know, isn't isn't healthy at all. And I felt very fractured. I, I couldn't really concentrate on doing anything for very long, which is not so good when you need to do lots of deep thinking, deep work. Anyhow, we went away. We stayed in a lovely cottage and I did take my computer with me, but I only opened it up in the morning just for a very short space of time. And then it would um, close down and we'd go off for the day. Had a great time, went to the pub, had some lovely lunches, went to the seaside, paddled in the sea. Goodness me, and that could have done me for the whole holiday, to be honest, having a paddle in the sea on a glorious sunny day, unlike it is today. So um, the other thing I didn't do either was check social media. I hardly went on at all. And if I did see something, I didn't actually respond. So I don't have social media on my iPad any longer. And that was a really deliberate thing. I did look at it on my phone. I only allowed myself to look at it when I was on the on the computer. So this week I've returned. I'm like a woman reborn. I feel completely refreshed. I'm not being overwhelmed by stuff. I've actually managed to remember to look at all my appointments and see what I've got in, in the plans. And I really think this year it is so important for all of us, all of us, all humanity, not just piano teachers, to have a break if you possibly can. Now, it might be that you can't go away. It might be that you can't go to a cottage or go anywhere particularly wonderful. I don't really think it matters where you go, but I do think you need to get away from home because as long as you're at home, you will do things. There's always something to do when you're at home, whether it's the gardening, the washing, the washing up, <laughs> the ironing, the car, the, I don't know, general upkeep of the house. We will always find something to do when we're at home. And that's one of the joys of going away. Maybe you need to go and stay with a relative just for a few days. How lovely to see them. I'm certainly going to plan that as well later on in my summer. So um, just a change of scene, a change of four walls, really, really helpful. Something where you can leave your computer behind. You can leave the day to day life behind that you normally have. Maybe it's just a friend. Maybe you go and see a friend in the next street and you spend a couple of nights there with them and then maybe they come back to you or maybe you even do a house swap. Just get away from home because it will do you the power of good if you can possibly wangle it. So that would be my first thing, get away from home. And my second really, really top tip is to turn off social media. Stop looking at Facebook because it gobbles up time. Now, what I do, and I think it works a treat, as I say, is you take it off your devices, you take it off your phone, you take it off your iPads and any other little devices that you've got. If you want to check, go onto your computer and make it a once a day check-in, and that's it. Put the timer on, say, okay, I'm gonna spend 30 minutes, I might look at Facebook, I might look at Twitter, I might go on Instagram, and then stop. And that does your brain so much good because we do have this fractured approach to life these days. And do you know, you're gonna come back to your teaching and you're gonna come back to your work-life balance in so much better frame of mind, you really are. So I'd love to hear from you, and thank you to everybody who's watching, I'd love to hear from you what plans you've got for the break coming up now. If you're watching this in the Northern Hemisphere, in America, you're already on holiday, and I think in Scotland, in Northern Ireland, that's imminent, if not happening. Here in the UK, we've got another 
three or four weeks yet to go before our summer holiday start if you're down in australia i'm sure you must have a break coming up soon as well so i'd love to hear from you all what you're planning to do over your summer what you're going to do to refresh yourself just to give yourself a bit of a chilling out time i read some fantastic books for the last week i really felt like a child again you know when you can't put a book down so do i'd love to hear from you where you're going what your plans are for to give yourself a real break this summer all right sending love bye bye